Yes. One Ferengi snail juice, please. Really? I will pay with gold pressed latinum. Let me see some ID. Right. Starfleet Academy, are you serious? I graduated in 2369. I was third in my class. 2369? Well, that means you haven't even been born yet, so I can't legally serve you snail juice. You know, it's a full moon tonight. Fuck my life. A full moon has a pretty powerful effect on our emotional state. And this card suggests that you maybe take a step back and view your situation from a different perspective, maybe with calmer logic. The moon may suggest that your avoidance to take action and make tough decisions could simply be due to fear of loss. Damn, Heather, that's heavy. No. Can I get you guys anything? I'm good. No. Do you want me to read your cards for you? No, thanks. Why not? I don't want to know too much about my life. So I've got a synopsis. I've got character backgrounds. I've got scenes numbered. Along with those numbers, I've written names of each of you. Be in charge of completing certain scenes. So what are we shooting on? Uh, I did a little uh, research on film stock and film cameras. And what I found out is that shooting on film is a real pain in the ass. Let's just shoot digital then. I looked up some info too. 35 millimeter film is really expensive. We'd also have to hire a director of photography, you know, cameraman, best boy, rent a camera, get a grip truck, insure all of this. How are we gonna afford that? Do you guys know a best boy? So what's the answer? Super 8. But uh, digital cameras have come a long way, right? They actually shoot some pretty incredible stuff. Let's, let's touch base on what we were talking about last week when we said we weren't going to film something on digital because that would just be another one of thousands of digital submissions. This way it'll be on film. If we, if we shoot it on Super 8, we're going to be the only ones. So, Pitt scored some coke, and he's bringing me an eight ball. Oh, choice! Hell yeah, dude, it's a full moon tonight. Let's have it. Watch that sunrise. By tomorrow afternoon, we'll be grinding our teeth and not making any sense at all. Yeah, bitches! Damn bitches! Bitches. Bitches, we ain't get bitches. I don't know if we enough to go around. Oh, I got the money to go around tonight, man. We'll be fine. You got eight ball, I got bitches, we'll cover, we'll make sure we got the good time tonight. All right, fine. Just make sure you get women that know what they're doing. There's nothing worse than a bitch that can't handle her drugs. Exactly, exactly. Where's the pin cover? It's supposed to be soon. I mean, he's on his way. Hey. Oh. Just make sure you don't tell Rock about it, alright? Cause that old fucker always gets in my business and kills my buzz. Just like a cancer. Yeah, like fucking cancer, man. Fuck, man. Fuck that motherfucker. Hey, you got a boyfriend? Yes. What's his name? None of your beeswax. I don't believe you. I don't care. What time you get off work? 4 a.m. Perfect. I'll come by, pick you up, and I'll drive you back home. <laughs> Good luck with that. 
Hey, you got a boyfriend? No. You do now. Name's Troy. I got a dollar that says I can go over to that jukebox. And if I pick your favorite song, you have to make out with me. Okay. And it's a deal? I guess. Great. You wait right here. Want a flower? <laughs> Flower child, I am. We gotta wait for the cold game. What's up, man? It's a good like the high week after Hey, Rock. What's up, man? Oh, nothing. What are you doing later tonight? Oh, uh, you know, just uh, chill here, see what happens. Yeah, it's pretty dead in here. You should come over to my place. We get the party started there. I mean, I, I'm kind of waiting for somebody. Hey, I, I bought some new CDs today at a garage sale. Yeah, we should go listen to them later. Yeah, let's do that later. All right, all right. I'll look for you later. I'm gonna go grab a spoke. See you, Marty. See what I mean? Fuck is that guy's problem? I, I don't know, he's like obsessed with people coming over to his house. He's gonna fuck everything up. He's gonna be on one side of the bar. We need to be on the other side. He'll find us no matter what. When we get the coke, it ain't gonna matter. That's a solid point. Do they? Cheers. Hey, Shannon. How are you? I'm here. Do you remember last week I asked you to be in my movie? Not really. Uh, well, I don't feel like I explained everything. Nearly as I should have. <laughs> Can I get you a drink or something? Yeah, I'll have I'll have another beer. Here you go, three dollars. So did I mention we're gonna send it in to Sundance when we're finished with it? Okay. Well, that's like the biggest film festival in the United States. Yeah, I know what it is. Can't anyone submit to Sundance? Well, yeah, sure. I read somewhere that almost 20,000 films got submitted to Sundance last year and they only showed 80 of them. I uh, think I read that too somewhere. And, and of those 80, almost all of them had a big name tied to them, or festival alumni, or influence of some kind. Yeah. So what makes you think that you're somehow going to do what nobody else is going to do and make it in? Well, I, I, what, what I'm going to do is shoot on film. I mean, it's a film festival. It's not a digital video festival. Yeah, but to say you're going to submit it is a bit misleading. I mean, you're wanting me and anyone else here to assume you're legitimate just because you mail in a DVD. I mean, I could make a movie in like five seconds and submit it to Sundance, but it doesn't mean it's any good or that it'll even get shown. And walking around bragging to people that I submitted to Sundance seems a bit ridiculous to me. Yeah, you got an interesting point. Yeah. I need two beers. Okay. There you go. What's up? Two shots of whiskey, please. Okay. Hey, man. Hey, man. You got me, right? Yeah, let me get these for you. Meet me in the booth over there, all right? Okay, yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> and two shots. Keep it. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. I gotta take care of something real quick. Okay, um, do you wanna play a game of pool? Yeah. Uh, meet me by the table? Sure. Just you, beautiful. 
We just got a new organic beer in from Portland. You want to try one? Depends. What's it come with? What do you mean? I mean, if it came with, like, uh, your phone number, I might want one. No, it's just beer. <laughs> you got a boyfriend? Maybe. Maybe yes, or maybe no. What's that on your shirt? It's a pink taco. That's what I like to, uh, eat. Do you realize they have to dye the shell pink in order to get it that color? It's not natural. <laughs> Believe me, it's natural. I'm just saying you should consider what kind of tacos you eat. I consider it all the time. Oh my god. Thank you so much, man. Oh, you really came through on this one. You bet. Enjoy. Oh, dude, we are gonna enjoy the shit out of this. Oh, I can't wait to get some nose candy rolling. No. Ah, right on. Oh, hey, okay. Do you think you can get ahead on some DMT? That's pretty tough. I mean, oh, come on, Pit, that would be amazing. Dude, I've been feeling the need for like a spiritual journey, you know, across the planets into another galaxy, you know what I'm saying? I lost around. Oh, thanks so much, Pit. You were the man. Oh, no. All right, hey, here's what we're gonna do. Okay, we're gonna go in the bathroom, and uh, I'm gonna cut up some lines on my phone, and then uh, I'll do mine, and then you wait outside, and when I'm done, you come in, there'll be some waiting for you, all right? <laughs> you gentlemen will excuse me? Yeah, see you later, man. Yeah. All right, let's do this. So, are Pitt and Laura, like, dating now? I wouldn't know. Seem pretty comfortable together. That's just how she is. A few weeks ago, that was me. Did she say she didn't want to kick it anymore? No, it was really the opposite. We were hanging out all the time. I didn't want to rush things, you know. She probably thought you didn't like her. But I did. And I do. It's a harsh lesson, and it equates to all aspects of life. If you're not going to do it, someone else is going to. Fuck. Exactly. Jackson, what do I do now? Nothing. The window is closed. You move on. You find a new girl. Because once that goofy energy is gone, there's nothing you can do about it. There's no chance. But I really like her. That's why they call life a comedy. Sneak around, or we can walk really fast. Forward. We walk really fast. fast. Uh, fast. You want to walk fast? Okay, try fast. Right. Try fast. Walk really fast, pass him. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Go, 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 go. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Shh, 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 Okay, now. All right. One, three. One, two, two, three. Two, two, two three. Go, go, go. Go, go. God, did you see that shit? Oh my God, what did you give them? <laughs> they must have taken the whole thing. <laughs> They're going to be okay? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Zachary Claude doesn't know any other way to be. He'll be fine. This is probably one of the funniest thing I've seen all night. Hey, Mike. Yeah? You seen Zach? Uh, he bolted a few minutes ago. Really? I didn't see him leave. Looked like he was in a hurry, I don't know. I was gonna ask him if he wanted to come over. Need a refill? Sure.
4 a.m. That bartender chick should be coming out any minute now. <laughs> 